How do we activate our innate feminine energy? Hi guys, it's Yvette. And today we're gonna to talk about feminine energy and how we can activate it and get it flowing throughout our bodies so we can generate it to the world. Feminine energy is such a gift from the universe. At a young age, we are taught to suppress our feminine energy because we do live in a masculine world, masculine dominant world. Everyone has masculine and feminine energies. It's just that women tend to have more feminine energy and men typically tend to have more masculine energies. We just want to learn how to cultivate that feminine energy and make it more dominant than our masculine energies. When I think about feminine energy, I think about warmth, I think about being compassionate, being intuitive, caring, loving. It's women's unbridled innate feminine essence that is the most powerful energy in the universe. Three words that I would use to describe femininity and the essence of feminine energy is being, feeling, and receiving. Think about when you were young and you had to visit the doctors for an emergency situation. If the nurses were kind and gentle, you felt calm and relieved. That is a great example of feminine energy. It's something that we as women need to cultivate and be proud of and we need to exude it because it really helps the world in so many ways. We live in a highly masculine world that's so focused on career and success. So from a young age, we're conditioned as women to focus on those things and to push our creativity and our feminine energy aside because we're basically shown that there's no place in the real world for that. Pushing aside our feminine energy can cause a lot of symptoms it's like depression, anxiety, exhaustion. So it's really important that we take the time to harness our feminine energy. Just think about gallantry and masculine energy. When a man opens the door for you, when a man offers to pay for your meals, it really helps balance feminine energy. And when you have a masculine dominant and a feminine dominant, it creates a lot of harmony. Gallantry is very important. I think it's wonderful. And I think that it's lacking more and more. That explains why we as women with feminine dominant energy seek out men who have masculine dominant energy. Our number one thing for activating your feminine energy is to move your body. So you can move your body through dance, you can move your body through yoga. When you wake up in the morning, it should be more sensual. It's not like a workout type of move. It's more just a movement to get your feminine energy flowing throughout your body. My second go-to for activating your feminine energy would be candles. Candles really create just a very soft mood. And if you light candles at night when you're by yourself, it just feels very peaceful and very calming and reflective and it almost feels like you're hugging yourself when you light candles in the evenings. I love candles. I love the mood that it sets and I love the energy that it ignites. My third tip for activating your feminine energy is to take baths. Now, these are not your typical baths. I suggest taking baths with Epsom salts. You can get 
them with lavender, with magnesium, vitamin E, but Epsom salts, candles, and rose quartz crystals are amazing just to help you relax and you feel loved, you feel self-love. And that's a really great way to activate that feminine energy. Another tip for activating feminine energy would be to get out in nature, get outside. Being in nature has proven to help lessen stress levels, lessen rates of depression, if anything embodies feminine energy, it's mother nature. Being outside for me just makes me feel so relaxed. I feel very connected to everything. I love to see like the butterflies, the dragonflies, turtles. I just love, I can sit there and watch them forever you do tend to connect with all of your surroundings and it just feeds your energy and your soul. Remember ladies that we can't activate something that's not already inside of us and feminine energy is our innate gift from the universe. So I hope that we all learn how to harness that and appreciate it and then exude that feminine energy because the world needs it so badly, especially now. Some other tips would be accepting compliments. So if someone says, oh, your hair looks so good today, instead of saying, oh, I washed it, you can say, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that and take that compliment. If you like this video, please do like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos soon to come. Cheers.